poles are broken. In the next few days, we're gonna have here in this channel a small series of videos consisting of three videos presenting build orders and examples, showing you how to play with poles and why they are insanely strong right now. So why poles? First of all, they are new Civ. Players are still trying to figure them out. No one knows yet what is going to be the meta uh, in the future, but we are speculating very good things for now. First of all, their main bonus is the full work. Uh, is having access to the full work, which is a building that replaces the mill and makes your villagers able to collect 10% of the food of newly constructed farms around it instantly. Second thing, their stone miners collect gold at the same time in a ratio from, of 2 to 1. Each 2 stone you collect, you get 1 gold instantly, which is also amazing. You can afford not to even collect gold until castaways, and that's a very good thing for your build orders. Lastly, uh, of the bonuses that come from the to, uh, to the top of my mind, of the most importance, it's having access to, let me see the name, slash the privileges which makes your knights cost 60% less gold which is huge huge you can spend knights forever basically like so many knights it's not, not a joke guys not a joke so here i have a, a game against the computer and first i want to show you the first build order of this small series which is scouts into slash the privileges into knights so let's get started. Tak, sprawiaj, sprawiaj. Mm, okay. First of all, we're gonna do a standard scout build order here. Nothing uh, beyond the common, but what comes? What? When? Sorry. The interesting part comes in middle of Feudal, when you can collect inst stone instead of gold. But until there, we want to play really, really safe. Because we know, once we get to slash the privileges, we have the, uh, if you don't, we don't take that much damage, we are in a very good position. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to show you why on video 3. Because I have examples of that working already and it's gonna blow your mind. Some games were totally lost and I could come back just by spamming knights and raiding. You guys are gonna enjoy it, for sure. So here we put six on ship. The seventh villager goes to the woods. Where do I want to place a longer camp? Let's explore a little bit with this villager. Here seems to be a pretty good place. Roskazaya. Now we want to put three villagers on wood. And then get our board. I think we found all the ships already. We collected already two or three. We have five left. Yeah, we found all the eight. Now we go for the board. What's interesting with poles as well, you don't need to build a house in Dark Age. If you're planning to go 20 pop, I'm not planning to go on 20 pop, I'm planning to go 21 because this build order will involve lots of walling, and the new Arabia is kind of good for walling, guys. The main goal of it was not to be able to wall, but if you look at my map, it's not very hard to wall, right? I'm gonna collect the rest of the ship before I'm collecting the ball. And this villager goes to the barrier to make the forward. We're exploring with the scout, figuring out where we want to wow, but I think we already found the good spots to wow so we can find enemy. I'm going to make a forward right now, the closer to the PC the better, because the safer the build will be. When your boar has around 200 food, you're going to send a villager to collect the other one. Seems to be a stone here, extra stone, so he's far away from here. Collecting the second boar. Everything pretty normal over here. And you can notice this house I built 
I did it there because I'm planning to use this as a part of my wall. There's still four food left here, but it's better to bring it earlier than later when you're lacking food, so that's not a big problem. Not gonna lose that much food now. Need the fourth few berries, wanna, we wanna have four. The order which in which you send the wheels to the berries doesn't matter much. If you send one view earlier, one view later, don't really worry about that. But by 18 pop, you want to have the four villagers already there because you're going to start sending just to wood. The 19, 19 pop and 20 goes to the wood. And the 21 on this build order goes to walling. You want to start walling pretty early because as long as you don't take damage on field, of, you'll be in a good spot to get slash the privileges and unspunk knights all day long. Those go to the ship. Last villager, loom, and we go up. This villager is coming here to wall. We got to see they have a very important resource. Those are two are idle. They go to the wood already. Go make a second loom. We can here. We start the morning. After loom, we go up. Second loom camp looks weird. But we'll be here. We go to the field of. Also. I could very well lure my deers, it would give me a, a nice boost in economy. I didn't do it, just to show you guys it's possible without luring deers. If you choose to do it, your economy will look a little bit nicer, I'm sure of that. Okay, we want to have 10 on wood on our way up, we need one more. Slowly move it down, no hurry. And we want to start walling as soon as we can, even bring your scout back, like want to see what your enemy is doing. Since it is his computer, of course, he's not going to rush me or do anything crazy. But when I keep that in mind to, to know if you keep walling there or wait for our scouts to deal with the rush before walling or if he's coming scouts. Just going to play. We're going to play pretty simple. Like, whatever he does, we will either defend with scouts or since we'll be on stone early, we can make towers to defend, so it's very easy to adapt into a defensive strategy. That's why I like this build order. I'm gonna keep your scout near our villagers, so the enemy doesn't snipe them with his scout. One more view to wall. Usually we'll have like three views walling, two building the stable, right here. Looks good. We're gonna get wood upgrade as soon as you can afford, and horse collar. We make a pikeman to leave it here. The scout can protect the villagers. We make more scouts. We don't want to leave our base. If the enemy is doing army on Fyodo, he's do not being passive. If he got a decent Fyodo of time, we don't want to leave our base. We need wood upgrade and then horse collar. And we're going to start sending view to berries. And as soon as the view gets to berry and we have six to wood, we make farms with them around the forward. Those go to stagger trees. And we finish walling here, protecting our stone. We can start adding farms already. We can make scout. I kind of forgot for a few sets, but it's not a big deal. Making scouts, sending field to berries, make farms there. Sounds really good. Collect this tree before farm. We need to finish those walls here. The scout might go ahead there. The house is cycle there to protect. More farms around the forward. I was spent spending our wood as soon as we can. That will guarantee us a better time, making sure we have the upgrades. And now, we're gonna finish walling in around 13 minutes, we want to start sending views to stone. Also, 
I think that's un unusual here. You want to make the second floor work. To start, to start putting farms around it. Those two villages are, are close. I would send one by 13 minutes already to make the mining camp. I'll send two. And then the next few will go to farms. I don't like the position of this farm here. Now I can send, uh, since I send one more to here, I can send to stone. It doesn't really matter if you send one view to the wrong place. It won't delay you too much. It's more about the general sense where the views go. Now we want to have six views on stone, so we keep sending them. And we keep rearranging the views on stagger trees into farms around forwards. I'm fully wilded now. I made three scouts. There's an idol here, I didn't see. Not gonna... Now the scout and the fight can go, can go to attack on Sir Fully Wild. And you keep sending views to. Views to spawn to the stone. You need six there. To be able to afford the castle. And to get the goals to go up. You can micro here the wood a little bit to make them more effective. Sixth view is going to the stone now. Next view is gonna build a blacksmith. So we can have both buildings to go up. There is almost any. You can make more farms here. More here. Now it's around the full works. Now when we have the wood, we want the blacksmith. Keep being annoying here with those scouts, those leftovers. You can make one more scout if you need, just to be sure. Or, or one more pikeman. I was playing versus computer, I didn't really need that. If you need more army to make sure you wall it, Please do that. Don't die on Fildo. All you want to do is get to Castle Age safe. I'm going to start sending views to gold because I will need gold to upgrade slash the privileges in Castle Age. After the blacksmith's done, we are going to be able to play. You want to have three views in gold while up? 16 farms all around the fall work. And we can go up once we have the gold a little bit late. But we will manage to do it right now. Gold upgrade. We send one more to gold here. And one more farm once this berries is over. So that's the field of age. 16 farms, 6 on stone, 4 on gold, 10 on wood. Once you go up. Really nice. Once we get to cast away, you want to have all the knights upgrades. Remember guys, if the guys attack you, you can bu make buildings behind to protect to rewall, like a market which that has a bigger size. If the guy is about to get pinned, you can now tower. You are already on stone, it will delay your cast a little bit, but you'll be completely safe if you make two to ta three towers in your base. You already have the stone for that. I already even have the stone for a castle, so I can start moving those bills away. From stone now. And I can make another fork with them. Or I can put a, I'll put two to wood. I wanna make a fork where there's a space for eight farms around. And I wanna start adding more stables. Out knights upgrades. You can afford. Just go. Another four work. We wanna get heavy flow before doing the farms around it. We don't need to use it right now, but we keep it built for the next views. Those views are going to make the castle actually. Usually you want to remove the six views from stone to make the castle. And then add farms with them. Okay, the castle is going to be here. We want to have six field building it or seven. Depending on how the game is looking. If the guy's pressuring you too hard, you can build with more views. It's okay, we get heavy plot, that's the only upgrade we need right now. And we'll start going to gold. We'll need 9 views on gold to keep 3 stables. 3 views on gold per stable. That's insanely strong. We need 500 food or 600 food and 300 gold to upgrade slash the privileges. When I have 4 stables, we can build around the TC, our farms will be around the forwards. We can use the renew farm button even. We have 9 views on gold for now. The rest are going to the farms. We need a little bit more gold. Just to afford the slash the privileges, now we're on our way. 
in. We're gonna start spamming knights very soon from forest tables. Nine on gold can afford four stables. We want to have 12 to afford three stables, I mean. 12 to afford four stables. Once the upgrade's done, we start spamming. Until then. We can have the husbandry, very important as well. We can start affording more and more upgrades very soon. But upgrade's done. Four stables. We could have done husbandry earlier. Very important upgrade. You can remove bills from woods. Once you have 12 on gold, you can make more farms. 12 on gold. Now you make the wheels spawn wood. You can see how our stables don't stop ever. Wheels spawn on wood. Once you have enough wood or you have time, you do another farm around the full world. That's how it works. Four stables with two knights each. That's pretty strong. Once your economy is being, is able to afford more and more knights you can add more stables i've got to, to the point i had seven stables in the game and i was producing two knights in each and it felt so so strong like there was no way the enemy could stop it now when we're having eco we can do the upgrades from the knights even well barrel will be very strong here that's to the attack or even the defense if i want to dive under thesis if you have to stop your TC production a little bit, doesn't matter. The focus is on the knights. Focus is on using this broken tech right now to kill your enemy. Well, Barrow right now should be a very good upgrade. Couldn't afford it earlier. Would like to have it earlier. Couldn't afford. Now it's a good time. Keep spamming knights. Your equal is infinite almost. Also, guys, a little, uh, two more details first. Fulwark makes Pulse the best farming sieve in the game if you make your farms around Fulworks and not around Thesis, right? So they're better than Slavs in farming rate. Second thing, fully upgraded Cavalier from Pulse heals Frank's Paladins in cost benefit. So although they lack lots of upgrades, they like Paladin, they like the last defense, they kill Paladins in cost benefit. That's way too strong. Also. Arbalest, if you can just like, let's say your enemy managed to go Imperial, he has Arbalest, doesn't matter, stay Castaway, spam Knights, spam Knights, he can never leave his base, you can keep controlling the map with Castles, he is not going to be able to fight with those Knights because they are so amazing cost benefit, dude, this is, this is broken definitely, oof, so this was the first video of the series guys, I hope you enjoyed, we have two more, We'll have in the next one the Manatarm uh, build order. And in the third one, Hecorded Games with examples of how to use this build order in games so you can take the maximum maximum value of it and actually have some fun playing with the new Civ Pulse. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you will actually use this for a little bit, have some fun with it. And let me know what you guys think about it on the comments. See you.